क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन ऑप्टिकल आइसोमैरिज्म इज शोन बाय इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ऑप्टिकल आइसोमैरिज्म इट इज शोन बाय ऑल दोज कंपाउंड इन विच टायरल कार्बन इज देयर सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट लैक्टिक एसिड लैक्टिक एसिड कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज This structure, and you can clearly see that this is the chiral carbon. It means it is showing optical isomerism. Simply, if I talk about malonic acid, malonic acid is this, and in this case, there is no carbon atom which is chiral. Further, in case of succinic acid, in case of succinic acid. This is succinic acid. Now, in this case also, there is no chiral carbon. And for oxalic acid, if I talk about oxalic acid, is this again? There is no chiral carbon, and that's why these three are not showing optical isomerism. Only lactic acid is showing show. That's why option one becomes correct answer. After this, next question I have. Question number sixty-two. Select the incorrect statement regarding acetophenone. If I talk about acetophenone, that is CH three CO C six H five. It means it's a ketone, and ketones have the nature to form two four DNP derivatives. They are giving two four dinitrophenol test. This is correct. So I'm just marking here the correct. Second option gives yellow precipitate on heating with iodine in the presence of sodium hydroxide. If I have this ketone and I just treat it with iodine in the presence of sodium hydroxide, what test that is? That is iodoform test. And in that test, there is the formation of the precipitate of iodoform that is yellow in color. It means this statement is also correct. Further, does not reduce Fehling's reagent. This is a ketone, and it does not reduce Fehling reagent. This is true, as well as it does not reduce Tollens test also, so it is not giving positive Tollens test. So third one is also correct, but the fourth one is incorrect. That states it gives positive Tollens test. That's why the only one incorrect statement is here. That is given in option four. After this, question number sixty-three. Acetone is treated with excess of ethylene glycol in the presence of hydrogen chloride. The product obtained is we have acetone. This is acetone, you know. Now it is treated with ethylene glycol. What is ethylene glycol? This is, and it is treated with this in the presence of HCl. Now there would be the formation of a cyclic product in this case, and that cyclic product is is. This is correctly given here in option one, so just choose that as your correct answer. After this, question number sixty-four: nucleophilic addition reaction will be most favored in nucleophilic addition reaction is the characteristic of aldehydes and ketone, and that is most favorable in the condition when there is the lighter alkyl group which is present. If some bulky group is there. That will not favor nucleophilic addition reaction. So first one is CH three CH two CO CH three. It means at both the side there are bulkier group. That's why the rate of reaction would be slow as compared to the second option CH three CO CH three. This is acetone. In this case, less bulkier group are there. But if I talk about ethanol, in this case, comparatively less bulkier group. And in case of formaldehyde, only hydrogen is there. There is no steric hindrance. It is most favored by nucleophilic addition. That's why the nucleophilic addition reaction will be most favored in case of formaldehyde. So the answer becomes option four. Let's take question number sixty-five. Reaction by which benzoic acid cannot be prepared is. Let's check the reactions given here. In the first option, we have the reaction in which toluene we have and. It is oxidized with the help of alkali and KMnO4, followed by acidification, and it will result in the formation of benzoic acid. This is giving you benzoic acid. I'll just mark a tick here. Further, 
we have ethyl benzene ethyl benzene also doing so in the presence of alkaline kmno4 followed by h plus ion it is also giving you the benzoic acid this is another preparation of benzoic acid now after this we have two phenyl propane and alkaline kmno4 is added to it followed by h plus ion this will also give you benzoic acid so i'll mark here a tick then we have the fourth option if you look at this group that's present over this benzene ring in this case there is no oxidation will take place no formation of benzoic acid in this case so fourth option so just choose that as your correct answer